Hello everyone, welcome to our first session for the first year seminar, three hours. Uh, okay, the first class is all about explorations and uh, see what's going on with the LaGuardia, like tech support and how can we use them and utilize them. Uh, for that, we are going to go to the desk link since it's here we can click on it or we can open it up from uh, a browser just write in my LaGuardia which as you see Google just picks it up easily or just exit out just go to LaGuardia's website laguardia.edu so easy and from the very first page go up to students but meanwhile you can check the other features of LaGuardia's websites all the announcements and everything click on students so the username for my LaGuardia is our first and last name and there's a dot in between but if your last name is very common, like Lopez, Garcia, Ahmed, and just some generic last name, uh, some numbers are added. Obviously, I my, my name is not very common. Uh, therefore, we don't have uh, I don't have any number added. But uh, uh, about 10, 20 percent of uh, the classes, previous uh, connected classes, students had not some kind of number. Also, just like uh, check this one out. You see at live dot lagcc dot cuny dot edu. Uh, okay, so it's being added automatically. Uh, so I uh, just pay attention to this because we are going to need it for our uh, school. Uh, email student email password is the student ID but it is called ample ID for the reasons it is valid for all CUNY system whether you're a faculty or student or you're a student somewhere else or you transfer to another CUNY college like John Jay and Hunter you're gonna keep it so I'm entering my ample ID and add in the last two digits of the of my birth year. If you're born in 1993, you can add 1993. Or 2004, you can add 04, something like that. But meanwhile, like check these out. Just their login instructions. So if we pay attention, close attention. Uh, like everything is here. I'm just like walking you through. So you can also check your email, which is just like this format is your email and most likely your password is also this also etools help or server if you click on these if you have a problem uh, there's a form like you fill it and like let's say you couldn't log into your email or server it's like everything's here okay so in here my LaGuardia it's kind of like other than LaGuardia's website which like general academic admissions paying for college continuing education about tools this and that this my LaGuardia is customized for you your progress your GPA your major degree maps the uh, success plan everything uh, if this is your first semester you may not have this and your financial uh, services, student events, uh, advising, view all events. Uh, okay, so just like you can just go around, see what's going on, you will like, uh, time is no problem nowadays. We are all home and like, you can check these out. Like yesterday, I, um, I listened to the to CCPD, like career services, uh, job, you know, uh, like how to conduct uh, get an interview so I, I really enjoyed it so uh, I had some time in between and I was like having lunch and I just listened to this so 
and other stuff like tutoring service transfer services you see they're all interactive chat online uh, services however let's focus on the e-tools Queenie first this is not LaGuardia but it's kind of all in one instead of like looking for the link what server we can just like log in through here which Queenie first has a different but similar username format you see first name last name but I have a number and I have a dot in between my first and last names and the password it is what I set up before it's not my employee though so I log in so what we need for Queen first is the student center the rest is like you explore them later but student center is yours okay and the next one is Queenie portal we take care of it later blackboard once I'm logged in into uh, Queenie first I don't have to log back in uh, for blackboard because they're all connected here are my classes and class I've taken previously here are the updates if you get the red uh, notifications they're all in here like you know so just uh, I'm mixing it out I'm just like walking you through very quickly because um, less is more and degree works just we clicked on so it helps you like monitor your degree and progress and the class like you need to take your major your student ID which is like ample ID comp you see like um, the checked green mark okay uh, the green marks like checked which you've taken the reds uh, you need to take them okay so like uh, in the upcoming classes weeks we are going to explore this better so therefore I'm just like exiting out and come in here email it is very important uh, as you remember I was just telling you uh, the my uh, like pay attention to uh, my LaGuardia uh, login credentials your name last name and the in between and you may have a number in here but live.lhc.qni.edu so since I have, this my computer is being like uh, saved I click on it but if you don't have this you have to read it fully you can just like write your name and go on no because outlook has different like venues they have, they have a hotmail they have uh, school them and they host school emails or server the password mostly is the same as my laguardia unless you've changed it okay stay signed in I'm just gonna say signed in for the sake of it and I'm gonna say save as you realize like you know in just Gmail and another email you just like see your emails but in here you see office.com the reason for that uh, LaGuardia if you're a LaGuardia student you can they give you free office you can install it or you can use their uh, online version so it is up to you so instead of buying it for a couple of hundred dollars for free but in here is our emails by the way like you see like uh, habits of mine like we have activities like this so I uploaded them to show students uh, so where's my habits of mine presentation so it is here okay so let's check out book and see what's going on and please be, uh, be very attentive to to school emails you see it's coming from career services CCPD like and career and also student uh, connections or server all right so after the email I'm exiting out uh, the next one is ePortfolio however before I go there I want you to take 
the, the library or uh, you can also like reach it through uh, the library's website so if you want to look for any like book or academic uh, resource or anything you see they have the uh, virtual library they have nexus they have uh, sorry search you can ask them a question by chat by email uh, so they're very attentive you can we are going to explore this later on uh, so therefore I'm exiting it out this is the career services uh, here as well okay you see their jobs and their offers I think you have to sign up so since I have signed up before so it just gives me these options um, uh, so we'll be taking care of it later on too so let's come to our e-portfolio let's click on it uh, for you you just you directly go to your e-portfolio section but for me since I'm no longer a student at LaGuardia uh, I have to log in with staff credentials um, as you see I just come right here with uh, my e-portfolios and I have plenty of e-portfolios all the classes I've conducted I have samples and I have like co-conducted co-facilitated classes with other SSMs and for my research is a lot so they're very handy so I think like the ePortfolio is one of the best things that we can show ourselves to the whole world digital world but however uh, I'm just like uh, scrolling down for the purpose seeing my classes as you see I have like 101s all here let's say your BTF 101 you have to click on the B lab section if you have okay CSF your computer science major or criminal justice but make sure it is the lab so for the purpose of it let's click on in here and like like make sure that you have your e-portfolios and your name is right here okay so I am finishing the class uh, the e-portfolio section right here but before that I want you to see the whole picture the big picture and check this one out what is an e-portfolio get like more information about it so I put the link as well and 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 check the LaGuardia e-portfolios uh, like uh, Abdul Jalil, Wang, Sejun. Also, I wanna um, draw your attention to a sample e-portfolio I did for my psychology um, sessions last semester. So, for the sake of it, for the purpose that, like, I work on on the template, everything, nothing, nothing is messed. As you see, like in general, like when we start a semester, we only write about me statement. However, I did about me now, just like middle of the uh, schooling, like maybe your second or third semester, maybe the summer, like you know, uh, that you have to like fill it in. See, we see the difference and see what's going on. And about me now, moving forward, maybe your last semester, maybe the one right before just like being ready what you what you want to do okay and like your favorite quotations all the links is being uh, embedded and like the vision board how I see myself where I see myself understanding myself like like getting to know yourself about my interests aptitude important experiences personality testing Myers and Briggs so eventually we'll be taking that this test and seeing like the results are we an introvert intuitive thinking conclusions just like going very like quickly that uh, so in uh, generic templates 
we have majority of these things like time management, college resources, developmental courses, my reflections as you see. Uh, so I didn't change the background much. It's very identical for for the purpose that you know like students can follow see what's going on I also put disclaimer and this is a sample so just like for you to get inspired you know see what's going on uh, if you have like question if you like couldn't get it uh, other than that uh, it's just a sample but the good thing about it is it has everything nothing is missed as you see and it took me a while uh, so I'm just exiting this out so it's for you to explore and um, also click on this link and explore some e portfolios for students you see different majors as you see like they, are, they were very creative having different backgrounds and very vivid colors as they wish and I really like it you know like nothing is identical and they all did great jobs and that's why they are here you could click on them and see what's going on what they uh, found out about themselves uh, for recreational purposes so I'm exiting this one out so you can check them later also this one faculty and student also, you can see some faculty member e-portfolios. They're the students we already gone through, but we can see some faculty here. English department, English department, math, engineering, math, engineering. And just like backspacing and seeing the templates is a great resource here core templates, program templates, single page templates, assignment templates, let's see collective view sciences meanwhile let me extend out because my computer is kind of slow and it's not really a big uh, okay so don't forget that if your major is uh, psychology check the psychology template okay if your major is computer education check the education template so like uh, but just let you know you see so it's been it's been gone uh, just like worked on and all different sub pages and as you realize they kind of have certification requirements server anyway uh, for the purpose of this semester that I'm conducting let's check computer science and see what's going on Then uh, we will check. Uh, okay, see. So nothing is filled, but that's okay. Only for education, I guess they put because they kind of uh, require extra like certificates. It's very important. For example, like if you are a, a computer science major, like even like while you are um, a student, you can still work in that field. But if you're an educator, you must get some certificates in order for you to qualify and you must go through like some background checks or server so that's why like the education was a little bit different also let's check the uh, criminal justice and see what's going on as you see it's a little bit different than computer science and very identical to psychology okay let's check BTF right here the first one business technology alright there are some instructions 
right up here see what's going on and just go over like you know be be open to those like experiences I don't have much to lose but gain okay so moving forward I put these links it prefers from other colleges and let's explore them and this Auburn University did a great job just put in their best e-portfolios I don't want to click on them and lose some time which it is at your uh, discretion that you go over these and see what's going on you see like how people elaborate on their e-portfolios like they don't have to be the same similar okay it gives you an idea so sky is not the limit so let's check this Canadian University which they are really taking it seriously the student portfolios their links you know here they're like explanations let's check Danielle and as you see she did it with Wix site and the free version also like we have a lab that I'm part of at John Jay which uh, we did the website with the Wix uh, free version okay so this class like learn about ePortfolios gives you a leverage to work on so like while like even like work in progress you can just create like different ePortfolios like with different venues but for like this semester and for LaGuardia uh, the education they were like ePortfolio um, app is uh, important All right let me click on the next one and see what's going on here and stays okay just click on these links you see all about and let's check this as you see probably she only shared it shared it with um, like her class so it's not open to the public uh, this one as an extension from their um, school server you see and this is Google size free and okay okay I'm just like going randomly so this is also Google size not bad you know I wouldn't say not bad it's just great yeah they really worked hard on and I'm just exiting them out exiting them out and right here the big picture because in my like uh, learning philosophy that before things happen I like to see the big picture what is it about like as you see I'm not gonna click on them but that being uh, image site gives you great uh, perspective on different e-portfolios even without going like for teachers business major nursing HR social work oh my gosh this is a great asset okay so it is your job to just explore these dive into it okay and I wanna like show my my work in progress sorry like seeing that I need to go another okay I'm working on like uh, the Google size with Google sites like to create uh, free portfolios like semi-professional which LaGuardia inspired me even though like I have master's degree in communications and I've taken a portfolio class and it was almost like 10 years ago it wasn't really uh, like great this much because in the other one it was just like I was writing papers and just presented my uh, to my uh, thesis advisor and work on my you know what what I have like resume and other stuff but in this one I, co I, I can share and show it to the whole world as you see even though like Google size is for free you can do like great things like pictures like free like royalty free pictures that that get show to the world who I am like I'm into education simplification and I have like previous majors but like mostly concentrated in multimedia design I've taken computers uh, science and programming classes 
film uh, animation but I'm like going like zero in in uh, making education uh, uh, available for anybody like in, a, in the, the most simplistic way as I say here simplification of education through multimedia like using different venues and uh, like I put research I'm, I'm doing a research at John Jay and I'm working on smartphone addiction more of like how what can we turn addiction into kind of like how can we utilize uh, like smart our smartphone addiction like instead of getting stuck with social media we can just like uh, take classes on Udemy whatsoever uh, that's my 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 research focus for this semester and my projects I have I'm working on these projects and my first project is called Gport by the way I'm a psychology major I changed majors after I got degrees in multimedia like film journalism media culture so we're taking a bunch of classes in sociology and and then, then find out that like having a uh, like having uh, seen the uh, computers like art imitates nature we act like computers because we create the computers like humans like we are like our bodies kind of the computer hardware our brain or how we work how we think is kind of the software like we get apps good apps bad apps uh, you know like I can find lots of similarities and I like to kind of marry my like psych um, knowledge and skills into my previous uh, uh, major uh, discipline and concentration kind of like m make education available for everyone because in my case I was 13 that my education was cut off to to the age of 21 so that that gap like you know it really cost me but I'm glad so I was able to come back for education like got, get my GED and move forward but it wasn't easy for me so like uh, having studied uh, the the technology like it really helped me like to get my uh, myself together I also have like um, focus problems kind of ADHD and depth perception is a physical uh, uh, disability but that's okay um, I cope with them like through you know like, help of education like through audible like YouTube videos like documentaries like online classes whatsoever also at LaGuardia we am um, part of a research uh, social science department uh, led uh, by uh, psychology our psychology professor uh, Lara Beatty uh, that we right now conduct our research like 100% online distance learning but prior to that prior to this uh, pandemic uh, we were like half and half like you know saving time and acting together we we wrote many papers we present in many many conferences we've traveled not much we were supposed to travel to Boston for a big presentation but because of pandemic uh, so it was cancelled anyway just my point is I should like with this presentation I kind of showed you the big picture how are we like it's only a start like we are going to learn the basics of ePortfolio uh, combined with the lecture hour uh, and we are going to explore more about ourselves because if you know yourself uh, or yourselves is the best so instead of understanding like others and other things we can always have a reference point and ex you know uh, as the as the uh, saying goes like you know know thyself you know everybody like oh, every philosopher on earth tells the first thing is like knowing yourself so this is a big ex you know experience and uh, is uh, on you to seize the moment and utilize uh, this experience and uh, thank you very much for bearing with me and uh, to um, to the next class okay and uh, yeah as you see assignment and next session go over the aforementioned links and explore your possibilities to write about your about me so that you can copy and paste from your notes so it's gonna 
make your job and life easier if you like you know uh, be prepared so the luck favors the bold and see you or talk to you in the next session thank you